guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to the final episode of Mariko Chan. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Apparently, from what I looked on Twitter, like a lot of people said they were on the edge of their seat in this last episode. I mean, mm, I didn't look up spoilers, but you know. Oh. We not even getting an opening today. We're just going into sponsors. Oh, well, yeah, because we're continuing right where I left off. That makes three. Are you fucking kidding me? She's still up after that? Because for a moment I thought she was sorry, you're talking to her, but no, nope, talking to Miko. Oh, makes four. Well, yeah, still three, but I mean, they did it twice, so. And that's it. If you only knew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> I mean, it, but yeah, but yeah, it would have been super traumatizing to her because, like, ooh. your friend and she's supposed to be worried about you baby
I think so. It could be both, but now he can finally move on. Oh! Stop! Oh. Hannah, seriously? We have a tear jerker moment. Hana, I'm hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. But see, something tells me that too, but still, as I was trying to say. There's gonna have to be a day, <laughs> there's gonna have to be a day when she's gonna have to tell her and it makes you wonder, how is that gonna go between these two? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Deserve them. You literally saved this kitty. Go on. This is your redemption era. <laughs> See? Better take good fucking care of that cat. Mom, look at it's the cutest name ever. Aww. Well, hey, it's like that one guy. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yes. <laughs> I get that, yeah. Yeah, because I think we all were because of what we all thought he was, but now it's okay. Yeah, are you still going to keep your lights off all like that? Zen? Kind of, but... <laughs> I still just need to know who his Sergi is, cause like, you know what? Since it's the finale, we're gonna find out tonight. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find out before I go to bed. true <laughs> 
so, but do you still see any spirits as of right now? Oh, yeah, it's a tearjerker. It just reminds me of, like, when I showed my mom, um, when Marnie was there. Woo! <laughs> Crying her ass off. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. Oh, that guy's still out there. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, you miss a person. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. <laughs> he probably dead now. Hey, you know, Zen, you did the right thing. It's okay. He was killing cats. It was time for him to go. But I thought I wouldn't just be with you for three times and then disappear on you. But you know how I'm gonna come like, okay, you getting some? I want some too.
Mm-hmm. Just relax. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah, I mean, they deserve a whole bunch, not just that one. Do you want money? Oh, they're so there. Oh my god. What else do you want from her? Hell, I don't even have an idea either. Oh, God. Seriously? Well, you can still see your dad. <laughs> what if that's the spirit of the guy? <laughs> Zen kills him. I love the body of the trash. <laughs> Stop, Deja. Yeah, in a way, you can still finally have a normal life.
Come on, it's Hana, of course. Or knowing you, you probably want both. Of course she did. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So good. Oh, is it good? They're still watching over her, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So, final thoughts on this show. I really, you know, at first, as I said in that first episode, I was like, you know what? I enjoy this. But, because there was... Oh. Was... Is this supposed to happen? Um... Is this supposed to be season two? Is this confirmed already? Okay. Well, continuing on. <laughs> As I was saying, that was a cute little jump scare, though. Um. Like I said at first, like, I, I immediately love the show. One, as someone who likes horror in general um, and comedy, it is a good thing. Having horror and comedy together is, like, almost like a match made in heaven, especially, like, when you look at, like, the first three to four scary movie vids, and then, like, after that, like, most of them all just suck. Um, but someone who really, really loves the shit out of horror... I do, I think, as a horror anime, it was good. A little bit of yes and a little bit of no. Jump scares, I did love. As I tweeted during the first episode after I watched it and necessarily got my feelings out, I was expecting them to do a jump scare that was going to, like, make me jump. I think one of the other shows I reacted to did a jump scare that literally, like, got me, and I was, like, busting out laughing at myself. And so I was expecting, like, week after week after week to either have, you know, Miko get a jump scare, especially, like, there's just one movie, I think it's, like, Lights Out, especially. It, it was the, 
the short film that eventually got into an actual film, and they took the lady who was in the short film of Lights Out in the actual film as well. So there's a point where she's, like, standing where her bedroom is to, like, the hallway that she's looking at, and there's a person there. So eventually she turns the lights on and off, and the person who was far away gets closer to her by the last time she does it, and the music changes and everything. And there's a point in, like, the first episode where, um... Miko is like in the school she goes back to the school for I forgot what it was for something and she turns the lights on and off and I was like oh that's a perfect jump scare for it but I mean my like my one little dislike was the fan service I think after week two three four I was okay with it I was like I know this isn't my my thing like hanging like yeah fan service but I was like to learn more about Miko Miku in her situation and why she sees these spirits. I mean, necessarily, did we get that answer? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no. I'm guessing now, like with Miko, we essentially, you gotta read the manga to find out. Would I love her this shit in a second season? Oh, hell yes, in a heartbeat. Because I feel like Yulia, she was very underused in this first season of this show. So if this show necessarily does get a second season, I would like to see a little bit more on her personally because the fact is, looking at the 12 episodes of a whole, it, it was like <laughs> a once in a blue moon or like a one out of five or one out of three chance that sometimes that Yulia would either have a speaking role or like a backstory on her or something about her. So that was the one thing that I like kind of disliked about her character and such. But yeah, she was like really very sweet and adorable. She gave me the freaking cute creepy vibes and such, especially with her aesthetic and everything. Hana, wh what the hell can I not say about Hana? Hana, like I said, Kaede Hondo did Hana beautifully. She does like all of her characters freaking beautifully. And I'm really ready to see her in like a leadership type role where she is the main character and not like a secondary character. It, well, if you count her as like freaking Sakura for Zombieland Saga, then yeah, that's like her main character-ish and stuff. But it's something kind of like beyond Zombieland Saga. I mean, she was in Project Tokyo Dolls for like, I think... How long was Project Tokyo Dolls? That was like 2016 to now, so about like five, six years, five, four or five years for that because they just celebrated the recent anniversary before, you know, they got terminated. So yeah, but like, I, that's something I still want to see for Kayete. Kayete Hondo has been in a lot of things that I've watched in the last few years and such. And she's gotten like really good at her craft. Like, uh, like any save that I've seen has gotten very, very good. But like, there are times now where it's very, very hard, especially for me to like instinct like is that her? Especially with, between this show and the one show that she did with Aoi Yuki where she played the dragon and such. And her, her character, of course, fell in love with Aoi Yuki's character in this. Um, for Miko, a.k.a. Uh, Sora... How do you say her last name? Sora with a K. Um, or Aqua for Kanesuba. I think for her this might be my favorite work for her. Like, I, I, And that's saying something because as much as I loved her as Aqua and Kanesuba and then, you know, um, freaking Kasumi slash, um, what the hell is her name in the Persona series? And Kasumi's sister, um, Enish, in the Persona 5 game. Uh, this role for her to go, from this, no, from Kanesuba to the Persona role to the role in Magic Over Gwede to this, yeah. To see how she's grown and like maybe even anything anything else that I've seen her in where she's probably I didn't know that was her voice and stuff. She's grown really well and so I think for her to you know step away or like even though she's still like one of those people that's possibly still she's going to be known for like Kanesuba for probably like the rest of her freaking life. The fact that she can go on from that and even though like let's say because something tells me like I feel like Kana, no, well, Kanesuba might get a season three. Uh, because if freaking Saga to Tiny Evil and freaking Drag um, Kobayashi got a second season, it is possible. Hell, they even announced what yesterday or like uh, today's Sunday still for me. So like 
Saturday that Overlord finally is getting a season four. So, uh, excuse me, oh my god. If it's possible for that show to get a season four, it's possible for Kondosuba. So, if, if it does happen, um, I will love it. But the fact is, like, the biggest thing with some of these seiyus, and especially when they get into some of these big, big roles that they are known for for the rest of their life, some people are like, can they match that same role that they had that they've no that people... Uh, genuinely know them for and I think she really did a good job there were times where I felt sad for Miko that she was like going through this alone until she met Yulia um still having Hana there you know as like support but you know Hana can't see anything but she has her aura and you especially with the situation with Zen before we figured out who the person was going around doing these cats and we were like okay can we really trust this dude and we're like fuck no and then when we find out the truth about him it's like okay everything that we said about this dude several episodes ago you take that back immediately but like I said the way it ends it is a very like a possibility for it to essentially get a second season I, I would say like especially with um that one demon lord series or my, i think my devil's a part-timer i think that's what it's called that's finally getting a season a second season after what eight years so never really truly count anything out i mean it really truly does deserve a second season because of the fact is the way it ends because especially with the two spirits that watched over her for three times and helped her three times are still essentially watching her it, it's something else about her so I think probably maybe give it about probably a week or two. I might end up starting to read this manga. Uh, either I'll read it from the beginning or I will try to find out where this specifically ends and then continue from there. But I mean, I really had a good time with this show. How this show made me laugh, cry, you know, scream, especially after last week's episode because I did not want to see a cat get run over and hell, I didn't even want to see someone get run over for saving a cat. But still... I really truly enjoyed this. I think this is probably going to be one of those that like if I think it does have a dub um I will have to cop because it was just too damn good once again <laughs> especially when we're going into a haunted um a fake haunted place to go get donuts because Hana and her hungry ass but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entire series of Mariko Chan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all whenever, you know, whatever the hell I watch next in winter. And then, you know, anything else that comes on the side. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.